a new report saying that thousands of Ukrainian children have been taken away from their homes and moved to camps in Russia or Belarus since the start of the war. Officially, the Ukrainian government has documented more than 19,000 children taken by Russia, but told us they worry the actual number could be closer to 300,000. The founder of Save Ukraine, a nonprofit helping rescue Ukrainian children, spoke about this on 60 Minutes. Here's what he had to say. Their plans to destroy Ukrainian identity. They brainwash them, indoctrinate them, russify them. They have a special classes for Ukrainian children when they teach them what is the Russia empire, what future they can have in Russia. Because about Ukraine, it's only bad things. What risk do these children pose to Russia if they come back home into Ukraine? Every child is a war crime witness. Every child is Every a war crime child, witness. Every child, yeah. So joining me now to talk more about this is Nathaniel Raymond. He's the director of Yale Humanitarian Research Lab at the Yale School of Public Health. So we have been, I remember hearing, you know, stories along the lines here quite a while ago of, of children being taken out of Ukraine into Russia. And Russia at the time had said, we're just doing it for their safety. Can you give us a little more information about what purpose these facilities may be serving and who these children are? Where do these children come from? Well, I think the best place to start is really there's four groups of kids. Uh, the first group uh, are what we call the camp kids. They're primarily from Donetsk and Luhansk in the eastern part of Ukraine. And they've gone to, uh, quote, summer camps, hmm. which in 10 percent of those uh, camps, the children have not gone home. The second group of kids are what we call uh, basically battlefield kids or abductees. And as we saw last night on 60 Minutes with Vlad, uh, children were taken directly from the battlefield and from homes during the fighting. Uh, the third and fourth groups of children uh, are really what we call the evacuees, which are make up the majority of the children, we believe, who have gone into adoption. And the evacuees, uh, that's what the Russians call them, are children from institutions and are often uh, orphans or highly vulnerable. The fourth group are those who we believe were taken from their parents after the fall of Mariupol in uh, basically filtration camps or internment camps outside the city. So then what is Russia's goal with these camps? What are they trying to do? Well, they have three main goals. The first is really propaganda for Russia's domestic political audience. Uh, it is a effort to rebrand a failing invasion as an effort to save children from uh, so-called Nazis. Uh, the second uh, objective here is this Russification campaign, which it's important for your viewers to know has been going on since 2014. Uh, but now has reached an industrial scale. The third goal is leverage. These children are being used as poker chips in a dangerous card game where Russia is now able to leverage them in negotiations with Ukraine. And ultimately, do we think that these children will return to Ukraine? Or is there an expectation that they could be adopted out and, and, and essentially be lost? Many already have been adopted. And for those that have been adopted, they've been given a new social identity number wow. and their names in some cases have been changed. So it's not a question of whether some will be adopted. Um, we are currently working here at Yale School of Public Health to try to begin to figure out how many have been adopted. Um, many have come home, but here's the real problem. Uh, we don't have the full numbers. And while we know it's somewhere at least as many as 30,000, the real number could be well over 100,000 or more. So the challenge now, it, we're in the golden hour, like after a car accident. We have a very limited amount of time to understand who these children are, where they are, and how many they are. Mm -hmm. If we don't do that soon, we may lose them forever. Uh, it's just, I mean, every time you look, there's kind of another outrage that needs to be investigated. And indeed, it's a, it's a war crime. Uh, Nathaniel Raymond, thank you very much. Thank you.